Hi everyone, welcome to a video by me, Dark Destroyer 2016. <clears throat> In today's review, I will be taking a look at the beginning box set, the Eco Moth Dalek, and the um, Dead Plant Dalek figure. So we'll start with the beginning box set, because my channel's beginning. <laughs> Get it? Um, no, that wasn't funny. So up here at the top, we have a um, big massive silver Doctor Who logo. Um, Obviously we have a writing here, the beginning, which contains an unearthly an child, the Daleks in Edge Destruction, the first of Doctor Avengers come to DVD plus exclusive bonus features, say to a rating, but who gives a shit? Whoops. Um, DVD and video, it's a um, free, di free disc set, um, picture of Susan, the Tartus and the Junkyard, again the beginning, an unearthly child, the Daleks in Edge Destruction. So twelve. Um and uh, same thing over here again and on the bottom we've got a whole bunch of Lego Flicker Schmunker Frankel and same thing at the top. Um, I don't know if you can you probably can see it. You can see it's like outlines. Um sort of like the tortoise um round circles, which I think is pretty neat. Um so yeah, um so, so the first story is Found out of a child. Now, this story is also Doctor Who's pilot episode, and it's truly magical and it's just it's bloody brilliant, in my opinion. Um, the first episode is brilliant, I give it a 10 out of 10, but it kind of goes down hell after then. Episodes 2 and 4 do have their moments, but it sort of goes down hell. Episode 1 is definitely the best of this whole serial, and um, yeah, so obviously, you've got Doctor Who and Alpha Child. Um, same thing that was on the the box set. Um, picture of William Hartnell down here. The William Hartnell years, nineteen sixty three, nineteen sixty six. Um, we'll see on the back. You've got story of William Hartnell by Anthony Copeland, the first ever dot, the first ever story of the world's longest running science fiction series comes to DVD for the first time. Pause if you want to read these. And at the bottom it says, the story was originally broadcast on BBC One between the 23rd of November to the 14th of December, 1963. And, um, yeah, um, I would give this story a, I'd give it a 7 or 8 out of 10. The, um, next story is obviously the Daleks. Which is obviously the Daleks first appearance. Um now this story is just truly, truly fucking brilliant in my opinion. It's just it's amazing. Um I think it's a bit too long though. I mean it's seven parts, which is a bit long. If it was um I think it'd make a good six parter or maybe make a cracking five parter. If it was a four parter that would have been just too damn short but it's a bit long, but it's still pretty good. And um, obviously here we've got two Daleks going down the corridor. You've got Dalek here for Pat's girl. Um, picture of William Hartnell. Practically, again, same thing was on the front of the box. Um, on the back here, um, again, pause if you want to read. You've got the Daleks by Terry Nation. The Doctor's about to have his first meeting with the Daleks. The story was originally broadcast on BBC One between the 21st of December, 1963, to the 1st of February 1964 and um, yeah I would give this story a uh, 8 or 9 out of 10 I think it's more better enough which I don't know how to say that um, by the way if you haven't seen any stories to me for this one you're not a Doctor Who fan and for this one you're not a Dalek fan simple as it's just it's a it's an, such an iconic and brilliant piece of 60s sci-fi just it's a brilliant story. Now comes the final story, which is the Edge of Destruction. Now, to be honest with you, I find this story just fucking boring. Okay, it's boring. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't watch it. I know there's people out there who do like it. Maybe I didn't get the same. Maybe I didn't get the same like. Feeling, like enjoyment out of it, just 
if you're in the mood to watch Doctor Who but you don't want it to be too long, this is the story to watch. It's only two parts. Um, obviously here we've got a picture of um, Barbara Neem with the Tars Contra behind them, which is actually, I think it's an actual kind of nice picture, it suits the DVD well. Um, back, we've got no line here at the top, obviously Doctor Who Dead Destruction. Again, pause if you want to read. And this story was originally broadcast on BBC One between the 8th to the 15th of February 1964. Another story, uh... Hmm... I'll give it a... 3 or 4 out of 10. I just really didn't enjoy this story, but it was a part of like it. That part when Susan had the pair of scissors and she was like threatening to stab me and she went all psycho. I really liked that part. I thought it was kind of funny, but again, it was still pretty good. So yeah, so overall, these are three brilliant, well, sort of three brilliant stories. The first two are brilliant, the last one I really like. Oh, I nearly forgot. Um, obviously, everyone knows this. Um, on the Edge of Destruction DVD, um, obviously, it's one of the special features. Um, I always like to show these sort of things. Um, you've got a 30 minute, con um, a condensed 30 minute version of Marco Polo, which is the fourth ever Doctor Who story, and um, is obviously missing um, here. I think this is the highlight. You've got these really nice colour images from Marco Polo, which I think are really nice. Again, pause if you want to read. And this is the original broadcast from BBC One between the 22nd of February to the 4th of April, 1964. So yeah, it's a really nice bonus feature. It's definitely it's worth buying just to have that. Um, and yeah. Now the um, let's zoom in like that. The um, the um, eagle moth style. And also, this is from a figurine collection. Um, it's still going on, it's been going on for three years now. They brought these out to celebrate Doctor's 50th anniversary. Um, I got the first 20 issues, um, but I just stopped collecting them because I wasn't really bothered about them anymore. I just, I sort of bought the ones I really like. And, um, yeah. So, you've obviously got the, um, rings, which is five rings, which is incorrect. You've got the camera lens, you have the, uh, silver dome with the Mini Cooper lights. Um, you've got the... Vertical, um, you've got the ve ventilation, you've got the um, rings, um, yeah, you've got the, um, the, um, sorry, the neck rings, um, you've got the shoulder section, which is all grey, the slats um, pa and panels, which are silver, um, you've got the skirt, the base, there's no wheels on this, obviously, and the um, little blue um sensor globes so yeah um articulation it's got none i give this a six or seven out of ten it's nice to have in your collection but it is a bit i don't know how to put it it's not really that great because you can't really do anything with it it's more of a display piece and a um a, um, fig, um a toy um i do have the packaging for this but i can't be bothered getting it and the final figure is the um, Dead Planet Dalt. And obviously this, this came in the Dalt Collector Set 1, if you remember that. But I didn't get it in that set. I actually got it um, loose on eBay for only um, £15, which was great. I do have the Dalt Collector Set 1, but that's for another day. And I don't want to say how much I paid for it, because it's a lot. Um, yes, again, exact same detail on that, but it's more crisper, it's not sloppy, it's nice and neat. Um, obviously, here you've got the, again, silver pole, the huge clunker rings, the camera lens, the silver dome, the mini cooper lights, it's, um, silver, you've got the, um, got the neck rings, the ventilation, shoulder section, silver panels, um, the gun, the plunger, um, the skirt, the base, the baby blue coloured 
tentacles and um, what's the it's called free wheels. Articulation, pretty simple. The dome has a 360 degree turn. I stop moves all the way up and down. Now you can actually take this out, so if you're doing animation, you can make it like it's been exploded, which I think is pretty cool. Um, we have a ball jointed gun, ball jointed plunger, and the detail on this. Also, I don't think you can make that out. There you go. Um, it's obviously got the um, the little inner bit to make it like extending it a bit. Um, and also here you've got the cores and rings that run through the gun, which I think is really nice detail. I will be getting another two or three of these for my birthday and Christmas because um, they're I know they're well. I'd recommend you go get them. Someone was selling them on eBay and Amazon for like a tenner each, which is brilliant because these are usually very expensive. I went to Brayhead Comic Con this year and these were um, £50 I think, £30, I'm not sure, but they're just ridiculous. So go and check that out on eBay. Um, and yeah, just oh, um, I'd recommend it. So yeah, that brings us to the end of the review. Thank you for watching, I hope it helped you out a lot. Um, please like, favourite, subscribe, share, it really helped me out a lot. Um, well, my background, well, my two Radio Time magazines and my 500 issues, um, I'm not going to pull it out because it probably would just fall down. Um, I've got more Radio Times and stuff. Um, and yeah, um, so thanks for watching and um, bye for now.